Good morning, you diaphanous bitches. It is episode 18 of my Mario Kart Wii Hack Pack playthrough. And today, our random card said that we are going to be playing with Bowser Jr. in the Dolphin Dasher. Alright, so today, the cup that we are going to be playing with is the Retro P-Wing Cup. With courses such as N64 Koopa Troopa Beach, Super Mario 64 Koopa cool mountain slide snes rainbow road and zelda ww outside island but less of me flabbing my lips or more of me slabbing my item boxes let's get this shit started all right so n64 koopa troopa beach we're nearing the end of our mario kart 7 brought back courses and we start off and this is actually a good ass cart because um, it has some good off road and it uh, still has inside drifting. Uh, can I get Bowser? No. Hey, Bowser's using the honey coop. Is that what that is? Yeah, that's the. Uh, um, damn it. That's the vehicle we were using last Grand Prix. I wonder if they have um, memory for that stuff. Because I notice sometimes that. Um, the player that you, uh, uh, character and cart that you raced with in the previous cup, uh, sometimes it appears in the next one. Maybe Mario Kart has, damn it, ooh, but it's drivable on. Can I, okay, I, I scraped it, but it's I. I'm ahead right now. Mm -hmm. Got the Shy Guy Beach music. It's so sad. I, I don't like the Shy Guy Beach music. It's very boring and it's... It just makes me feel like a baby. Are there any nearby boost panels that can erase this period off my screen? Alright, um... Well... Hold up. Okay. This shit gets covered by water, but since I am in a bike, um, I can survive through it. If I were a heavy character, like as if I were in the Flame Rider, it would be a different story. Um, well, I'm glad today because my family is out. My sisters are in school right now. Uh, they're both in high school, and uh, so their school year hasn't ended yet. And then my mom's out working and my dad's out. So I'm alone in the house today, which means I can record undisturbed until like three o'clock which is when they all need their ass picked up which is fine but which is fine by me you know about the fiasco yesterday when they heard me recording and they were getting all freaked out that i was talking in my room it sounded like i was talking to nobody oh, lord that was embarrassing but okay i almost thought i saw a fake ass item box in that item group but seriously, these bitches are providing no competition for us. Right. I kind of want to go in here. Oh, look, a blue shell. And we still take a blue shell with uh, no damage. Like, damn. But we almost done. So we don't have to worry about that shit. All right. Yes, Bowser Jr., we know that you won on your yellow ass dolphin dasher with its mono eye looking like Sonic. <laughs> what am I talking about? Alright, now we are on Super Mario 64 Cool Cool Mountain Slide. This course is low key hard, and I'll show you why. Well, first of all, you have this icy ass surface. And then. Oh, hey, bye, Wario. So that's hard enough. Like, you, you, you need a bike for this course, because if you have a. And then that shit happens. <laughs> but you need a bike, because if you do not have a. If you have a car, then you're just going to slide all over the place. It is important to have that. Ooh! See what I told you? I might not win this. What? Uh-uh. And secondly, this course is only one lap. And that lap just happens to be... Why? Oh, God. That lap just happens to be 1 minute and 16 seconds long. Which is not long for a course. 
So if you fuck up, you're gonna fuck up hard. No, oh god, and I missed the item box. Oh god, it's hard to control yourself on here, as I said before. It's really slippery. It's really slippery, and um, uh, that means it's not easy to turn. Ooh, funky. Alright, at least I'm in first place. And over here, you gotta watch out, cause that. What? Mmm! Oh, God. Because this road gets really narrow really quickly. Ugh. And now I'm in seventh. I, what did I even do to fall off that? I did nothing. It just went the other way. I hate my wheel, and I hate my life, and I regret it. And Wario is seven points ahead of me, and he needs to back the fuck up because he is a fat bitch. And this course is not for fat bitches. Do you hear me? I'm mad right now. Alright, but less being a bitch, because we're already on the next course, and there's no use crying over spilled milk, or undue victories. Now, um, since you're not blind, you can clearly see that um, this course has the same map as SNES Rainbow Road, uh, which is awesome. Like, I, they kind of gave it a little Mario Kart 8, in my opinion, which is cool. Oh, shit. Wario, you bitch! You fat bitch! You bumped me the fuck off! And I had a mushroom, and I was saving it so that when I was in first place, I could avoid a blue shell with success. But that clearly... Oh, okay, I got another mushroom. Maybe I can do it again. But we all know it's not gonna happen. But yeah, they added all these jumps and all these ramps and all these shits. It's awesome what they did with it. I mean, it makes it kind of long. But I'm just glad that they took as much creative license with it as they did whoever designed the track. And I like how they changed the background to this kind of toy room. I've seen this background in other places with like all these 8-bit items and- or I'm sorry, in other custom tracks I've seen this uh, background with like the 8-bit star and the 8-bit uh, Mario and Mushroom. I've seen it in the um, shit- ah, oh, come on, how did I fall off? And why do I want to be in first place now? They're not going to win another course. I can't let that happen. Like... See, Wario? First is for bad bitches only. You can't avoid the power block. And I did avoid the item box. Which sucks for me. Oh, shit! What? Oh, God. I drifted one way and then that was too tight, so I drifted the other way and that was too... Off the road. God. I need to control myself. Alright, can I avoid this bifurcation? Yes, I can. It's weird, just like going through this course if you couldn't see the map, you would not know that is SNES Rainbow Road. Oh, shit. Forgot to check. But, I'm ahead of that bitch now, so I ain't got shit all to worry about. Oh, look, I could have used a mushroom right there so I could avoid it. I, you're really... Oh, God. you really giving me red shells after a blue shell? Like I need that. Like I need that. And you... Oh, God. Another fake-ass item box that doesn't protect against shit. Wario, I hope you're fat. Why do they keep... Oh, my God. That's like three fake-ass item boxes in a row. They low key want me to get hit by another red shell, but not anymore because they gave me a banana wall. Alright, if I can just trick. I don't understand, this bike is being wobbly as fuck right now. I don't appreciate. But either way, I'm getting miles ahead of Wario's fat ass. Oh, shit! Okay, good. We landed on the right side of the wall. We landed on the right side of the wall and Wario no longer poses a threat his ass fell back and if I just win this next race I should be all set in order to win so I've never played the Zelda games but as clearly indicated by the title this course is based off of Zelda but I would not know that 
bitches move. What I like about this course is that you can actually drive on the off-road and it's not actually off-road. But don't go too crazy. And I threw the bomb in the... What? Mm. Why? I hate it when... I swear, my wee wheel has been low-key betraying me. Because like, every time I... Or like... 10% of the time, I will drift in one direction, and then the wee wheel thinks I'm drifting in the opposite direction. But as I was saying, I like driving in the off-road, because it's not actually off-road. It doesn't slow you down as such, and this road is actually really narrow. So, of course, they had to extend the... I almost hit those. Alright, King Boo can go bye-bye. Bye, you bitch. Alright, can I get uh, whoever that was? It looks like Koopa Troopa, but I'm not sure. Well, it's Koopa Troopa. And next is... Is that Peach? Alright, Mama. Bye. <laughs> Did you hear her scream? I love that. Oh my god. Let me tell y'all something. Um, so, at the university that I matriculate, I have a bike... And I actually hit Bowser, and he had... A, a banana to protect him. Oh, if he didn't have that banana, I would have been so proud of myself because just by the looks of it, that green shell would not have hit him otherwise. But I did. And unfortunately, he had a banana, which sucks. Okay, but anyways. Back to, um, damn it. Back to university. I have a bike, uh, which I use because it allows me to get to places on campus, on this big-ass campus, uh, in less time than it would take me to walk. And that's important when it's like hot as hell or cold as hell outside and you now feel like being outside for a long ass time. But either way, um, as a biker, I have to deal with slow ass uh, walking people. Especially like girls looking down at their phone while they're walking or like guys who aren't paying attention. Or just, it's just like in general, just like people and trees and shit. And what I love doing is like speeding by them at like 15 miles per hour while they're walking at like one fifth the speed. And then, I just love hearing their shocked ass reactions. They're like, whoa, oh my god. They're like, oh my god, he scared me. They're like, oh, oh shit. I love hearing their reactions. I feel like such a troll. And I love low-key scaring bitches. Honestly, riding my bike on campus is probably the closest I will get to playing a real-life Mario Kart game. It's like, you can just, hmm, I wonder what's that, that path the other direction. I might have to explore that later. But with that said, we finished this race. And as I said, I was saying about my bike, I love it's it's the closest thing I'm getting to real life Mario Kart because you gotta avoid the trees, you gotta avoid the bitches, you gotta avoid the rocks and shit, you gotta stay on the path. Sometimes you take shortcuts. It, it's pretty awesome. But with that said, this cup has been finished and as a grade we get a C, which is cuntish, and we only get 50 points, but how sad can I be, because I did have fun this race. Alright guys, make sure you massage your light bulbs, good night, and have a nice day.